Kamuska Po. Welcome to our mission house here in the Philippines. My wife Luz and I, we are missionaries of God the Father, the Almighty Maker and Creator uh, and Possessor of Heaven and Earth, Jesus Christ, His only Son. We're under the anointing and the leadership of the Holy Ghost. If you have a prayer request, or a testimony, or a donation, please send it to give sin go dot com backslash Frank Lose Williams. Yes, let me repeat that again. If you have a prayer request or a testimony or if you'd like to give to the ministry here in the Philippines please go to give sin go dot com backslash Frank Blues Williams and we look forward to hearing from you that would be either for a prayer request or you'd like to give a testimony or if you'd like to give to our uh, work of God here in the Republic of the Philippines. What is that website again? It would be give sendgo.com backslash Frank Luz Williams. If you can find that right here in the comment section. And if you can, hit the uh, subscribe. There's no cost for the subscription. Uh, hit the subscribe. Hit the like button on this platform and if you know people that can benefit from this uh, please share it with other people we heard from uh, uh, Kenya today and there's a, a bishop there in Kenya and also in India and also in Liberia they want to uh, use our uh, teachings and help to build uh, the kingdom of God in their nations. And so we praise God. We hear from multiple uh, nations, people on multiple uh, continents. And uh, we also share this on the link in website. We have over a thousand people who subscribe uh, to us on LinkedIn. So please go to this uh, website, go to this social media, go through on this platform, uh, join and share it with those that uh, we can help. You think it will be able to help them. The Holy Spirit has told us to uh, brag about Jesus. Go ye into all the world and preach, teach, brag on Jesus. He promises, wow, or lo, I am with you always, even till the very end. And he also promises, these signs shall follow those that believe in the teachings of Jesus. We brag about Jesus. We brag 
about what a cheap, what uh, a difference he has made in our life. Now today we're going to talk about what Jesus he teaches us to don't let your left hand know what your right hand does. Yes. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand does. We're going to pray in just a little bit. We're going to pray in a little bit. And today uh, we are in the Gospel of Matthew. Gospel of Matthew uh, chapter 6. And uh, we're going to ask that you uh, pray with us in just a few uh, moments. We're praying for um, uh, a two-year-old boy uh, born without eyesight. We're asking God to move for his benefit. Got uh, uh, prayer requests uh, from people who have uh, shared out of their need and uh, requested prayer. Many people. And uh, remember, if you have a prayer request that you would like to share or a testimony or if you'd like to give, go to our crowdfunding site, givesingo.com backslash Frank Lou's Williams. You see the instructions right here in the comments section. And you can also leave uh, testimonies and prayer requests on the uh, comment section here. Matthew, first book of the New Testament. Matthew chapter 6. Jesus is speaking here. Take heed or be careful that you do not your alms or your giving before men for the purpose of or to be seen of them. Don't give to show off before others. Give because it's expression of your heart. Do it from the abundance of your heart. Do it because Jesus, he loves the cheerful giver. So uh, do not do your alms before men to be seen of them. Don't be a show off. Uh, or the, otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. We have people that give anonymously. They don't want others to know what they are doing. Jesus says, don't let your left hand know what your right hand does. So Jesus says, if you give to be seen by others, if you give to be a show-off, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. Therefore, when you doest, thine alms, I'm reading from the King James, but I'm going to begin uh, translating, self-translating into modern English. But the text is the King James Version. It is the most popular uh, English uh, translation of the Bible. Therefore, when you do your alms or your giving do not sound a trumpet before you 
Don't sound the trumpet. Don't draw attention to yourself. As the hypocrites do in the synagogue and in the streets. Don't. Don't do it for your own glory. Don't do this to draw attention to yourself. Uh, that they may have glory of men. Don't do it so that you look good. Don't do it in a way that people can see what you were doing. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. If you give to be seen by others, then um, you have your reward. So we'll just continue to read. Many when they give at our crowdfunding site, many will uh, give anonymously. You can do that. Um, but if you send a prayer request or if you want to give a testimony, you can testify what Jesus has done for you, what a change he has made in your life. But when you do give, let not your left hand know what your right hand does. That your alms or your gifts may be in secret. And thy heavenly Father which sees you in secret shall reward them openly. You do it quietly and the Lord will reward you openly. When you pray, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites For they love to pray, standing in the synagogues and in the corner of the streets. And this is the purpose, that they may be seen of men or humans. I say unto you, they have their reward. Now there is a place for public prayer. When you pray for your food, I have a friend in Breckenridge County, Kentucky, and actually more than one, that he raises hogs. And every time that I visited him when he was feeding his pigs, when he was feeding the hogs, they would always grunt before they ate. Brothers and sisters, if you are a child of the, if you're a child of God, you should be better than the pigs. You should be better than the hogs. The hogs know that they grunt, they pray over their food, when they eat, brothers and sisters, we as believers need to pray over our food. If you're praying by yourself, you're eating by yourself, just bow your head and pray quietly. If you're sharing a meal with your husband or your wife, you pray quietly it's appropriate for you to pray loud enough for your spouse or your partner or your friend to hear you if you're eating at a table and everybody at the table is in your party it would be appropriate for you to pray loud enough so those at your table in your party can hear if 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 the event includes the whole room, then it is appropriate 
to pray loud enough for everyone in your room or in your party to participate in prayer. Yes, that is appropriate. Uh, but in general, when you pray, enter into your closet. And when you have shut the door, pray to your Father which is in heaven. He, he, uh, he sees and he hears when you pray quietly. And your Father which sees you and hears you praying in your closet shall reward you openly. But when you pray, use not vain repetition. Don't repeat yourself over and over again as the heathens do, for they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. So many people when they pray uh, publicly, for some reason they think that they have to have a long King James prayer. But uh, it's not necessary for you to pray a King James prayer. And it doesn't, you don't have to pray for a long time because some believe that they will be heard for praying a long time. And they think, many people think that they have to pray very loud. But the Lord is not deaf. He can hear you when you pray. Then he tells us, After this manner, therefore pray ye. So he's telling us to pray. And he tells us to use this pattern for prayer. To use this pattern every day when you pray. Because you want to make sure that you pray correctly. So you use the pattern that was given to us by Jesus. Now, it's very easy for a believer to spend at least an hour a day in prayer. I recommend that you spend at least an hour in prayer. Combine that with your Bible study every day. You don't... Isaiah says, Come, let us reason together. Let's have a conversation with our Father in Heaven. He doesn't want a monologue. He wants to be able to communicate with you. And the most sure way to hear from God, the most uh, common way, most often, He speaks to us through the Bible, through the Scripture. He also speaks to us through men and women of God. And the Bible tells us that um, that if somebody, a man or woman of God, they speak to you, and if it does not agree with the Word of God, if it doesn't come from the Word of God, if it does not agree with the Word of God, then there's confusion. And God is not the author of confusion. So... Your teaching, and when people give you wise words or a word from the Lord, it must agree 
with Scripture. And if it doesn't agree with Scripture, there is confusion. Sometimes the Lord will speak to us in dreams and in visions. And we see in the Word of God, sometimes He speaks to us with <coughs> divine messengers, angels from heaven. As the Apostle Paul says, If I, or an angel from heaven, declare unto you a gospel, a word that is, does not line up with Scripture, let them be accursed. So we know that the ultimate truth is the Word of God. All Scripture, the Bible, all Scripture, both Old and New Testament, are inspired of God. And you study for your, ben for your benefit, your personal benefit. But Jesus says, let not your left hand know what your right hand does. So he teaches us to pray after this manner, after this pattern. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Father God, we thank you that your Son, Jesus, gives us the authority to come boldly before your throne. He has given us permission to come use the authority that you have given unto us. Yes. Thank you, Father, for giving us the authority to call you Father. Hallowed be thy name. Praise your name. Holy is your name. He says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Thy kingdom come. Every day you should ask for his kingdom to come every day in your life. Yes, you want to be in the center of God's will. So you want His kingdom. You want to learn more about your benefits of being a child of God, even in this fallen world. You should ask, Father, let your kingdom come. Let it be established in my personal life as it is in heaven. And then you ask, let your will be done. Yes. Ask for His will to be done in your life every day. So, you find out about the kingdom of God. You study every day. Thy will be done as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Yes, you need to have communication with our Father in heaven every day. He gives us, He tells us to expect our needs to be met on a daily basis. And forgive us our debts. Forgive us of our sins. As we forgive our debtors, if, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation. The Word of God teaches us that our Father is light, and in Him there is no darkness. 
at all. Our Father in Heaven does not tempt anyone with evil. Every good and perfect gift comes down from our Father. Yes, every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God, for God tempts no one with evil. Lead us not into temptation. Father, we pray as believers that you help us to identify trouble down the road. Help us to look out, to look as far as we can see. And if give us wisdom that if we see trouble approaching, that we would make wise decisions to avoid evil whenever it is possible to avoid it. For thine is the kingdom. Yes, the kingdom belongs to our God who sits upon the throne. And unto the Lamb praise and glory wisdom and thanks, glory and honor and praise be to our God forever and ever. Be to our God forever and ever. Yes, take time to pray and give Him thanks. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I was born again when I was six years old. God has been good to me. I cannot remember a time in my life where I could not feel the presence of the Holy Ghost in my life. I could always feel His influence. I could always feel his presence. From my earliest days, I remember him calling me to serve him. I had uh, godly parents, and uh, we went to Catholic churches. I was taught how to pray. I was taught how to hear from God. I knew that I wanted to serve Him. I wanted to be on the winning team. <clears throat> I had the desire to serve Him. Maybe you have that desire too. You have the right to choose. You have the right to make that decision. Perhaps you hear His voice calling you. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice, and the voice of another they shall not follow. Make that decision. Hear his voice. Follow the shepherd. Father, I pray that today those that hear your voice, that they would follow and not hear the voice of another. Father, you say that once they are in the palm of your hand, no one else is able to pluck them out of your hand. Father, they can decide to walk away or jump out. But Father, those who hear from you, are they really going to wisely remove their themselves from the palm of your hand? Jesus said, if you continue in my word, then you are 
my disciples, my students, indeed. Be one of his students. Continue in his word. He says, if you draw near to me, I will draw near to you. We thank you, Father, that you always hear us when we pray. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Remember, uh, we're here to brag on Jesus. He's given us this vision of uh, having a better influence on Christian missionary radio, television, social media, not just here in the Philippines, not just in the United States, but throughout the world. If you have a testimony, send it to us. Give, send, go dot com backslash Frank Luz Williams. If you have a prayer request or a testimony, or if you want to contribute to this ministry, do so at our crowdfunding site, givesendgo.com backslash Frank Luz Williams. If you're on Rumble, click through and uh, subscribe. If you're one of the other uh, social media uh, sites that promote that, that promote uh, freedom of speech, please follow us through and join because it, it helps our work of God here in the Philippines, in the United States, and throughout the world where you can enjoy freedom of speech. We thank you for being with us today. Click on through. If you know someone who can benefit, please share it with them also. Join. The subscription is no cost. And uh, help us build a team. Team building the kingdom of heaven. One life. One life. One heart at a time. Hello to our friends here in the Philippines, in uh, Cuba, Liberia, Indonesia, Pakistan. I don't want to leave out any nations, but we've heard from each continent. Have a great day. Via Tendios, may God be with you.